I want to introduce you to the Studio Cats, a pattern designed by Valerie Wells. The next step, now that the arms are stuffed, is to add them to the body. And as you can see, because we have a fold at the bottom of the legs, the body is one great big long piece. Um, I laid this arm on and I've stitched. Remember there are markings that you put on here. So now I'm going to lay this arm on, put a pin in, and stitch it to the body. Begin by putting both arms of the kitty in one direction. Then we're going to bring the head up and we'll pin it together. I have one already started that we'll work on. So we're back to the pink kitty. And I pinned uh, the arm areas together here. You can see both arms are coming out the side. Then I'm going to put another pin up here in the ear. And I'm going to start on the opposite ear here. Make sure I get my fabrics correct. And you'll pivot in that area behind that goes between the ears. Pivot means you leave the needle in the sewing machine and scoot the fabric around. And come up to where the point of the ear is. Travel down, and you can actually see the line of stitching where you stitched the arm of the kitty to the body, and I'm stitching through that to just below where the arm was attached and back tack. I have turned the kitty body over. And now both arms are extending out the opposite side. I will start stitching at the ear, come down past the arm, and go clear down the leg. You want to make sure that you stop from time to time and there isn't any fabric under here that is tucked under where you want your seam to be. So take your time. Pivot just above the arm. You're stitching through the arm. Lining up the fabric, stitching down the leg. I'm going to back tack again at the bottom of the leg. Now you've stitched clear around all of the legs and the body. We have this little opening here where the arms are. Make sure you clip all of the different places indicated in the pattern. All of these little insert, inside curves, the points of the ears, inside between the legs, right here at the neck. And now I can turn the kitty inside out. But in order to do that, I am going to use the handy dandy tool again. And as I push the fabric from the leg up the tool, again, just like we did for the arms, push out the corners.
and now we're ready to do some stuffing. 